Okay, hope uh, all of you can see my presentation. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, nice. You can see it. Okay, uh, this research is uh, about uh, mountain soil, in particular on ledges. So first of all, let's explain a bit what uh, ledges are. Basically, are horizontal flat parts on uh, inside of uh, rock walls, like an interruption of the walls. So that's. Uh, uh, this is possible uh, to colonize by vegetation and first uh, by soil and then vegetation and animals. So, okay, wait, then, okay. I had a problem with the presentation. Okay, fixed it. Uh, here I have just an example of the sampling points of the research. So as you can see, are just, uh, little uh, vegetational uh, areas inside of uh, wall, rock walls. Uh, here uh, is the study area, the location of the study area in the northeast of Italy uh, between Pre-Alps and Dolomites. And this location is chosen because, okay, here is a bit easier to see. Uh, for one knows uh, one who knows the places, uh, there are a, a, a zone in the north between Palle San Martino and uh, Lagorai uh, mountains, and one in the south that uh, is uh, close to uh, the pre-Alps of Belluno. And uh, those two areas um, are particular because are just like on the border between different uh, substrates in the north area there are uh, there is the border between the uh, carbonate substrate and uh, the volcanic substrate and in the south is only carbonate substrate but is divided into different types of rocks um, in particular dolomites and sandstones and a bit of limestones. Uh, here are uh, some of the tools I used uh, in this research to pick up the samples uh, and to then dry them at home and uh, take them to the lab to analyze them. Then, yeah, as you can see, here is an example of the um, of the stratification of the soil on a on a ledge, because yeah, uh, also it's just a little area. Uh, ledges are just little areas, uh, uh, different from the others because they're just isolated uh, from the other environments, uh, but. Uh, as you can see, uh, this soil is uh, quite uh, present quite a good stratification also here, and so it's well formed soil. And then uh, we made a table of um, the correlation and of the p values to to see how strongly correlated uh, are the different uh, uh, things we uh, analyzed different uh, um, yeah. so some of the the things we analyzed uh, are not related uh, with the soil characteristics characteristics like geology group as you can see the the p-value is quite high so uh, no correlation in this uh, situation, but other things like altitude and exposition, for example, are really strong related. So uh, we found a relation between uh, soil characteristics and some of the um, characteristics of the place of the areas we started. 
uh, here, for example, there is the correlation between uh, altitude and soil that becomes shallower uh, in higher altitudes. Uh, this is due to probably it's due to climate limits, like a longer uh, snow cover in winter and uh, colder temperatures and other uh, climate limits that um, limitate the colonization by plants and animals. Uh, moreover, uh, we analyzed the, the soil depth and uh, the thickness of main horizons uh, related with the exposition. And uh, yeah, as you can see in north exposition, soils, uh, soil uh, depth and horizon thickness are uh, shallower in the north. So uh, this probably is uh, because of uh, climate limits again, once more time. Um, and it's possible to see also uh, a deeper soil in uh, east and west expositions. Uh, this is probably because in south exposition is too dry during the summer. This is an idea, a possibility, uh, a possible explanation for this. And so, yeah, it seems that uh, the better uh, situation are east and uh, west expositions for soil. And here, um, we have a relation between soil depth and also again, uh, once again, the thickness of uh, the two main horizons. So the, um, uh, with uh, the percentage of the ledge area covered by grass, uh, because um, this is the uh, vegetational aspect that, uh, seems to have the, um, the, the most uh, um, relation with the soil characteristics. And as you can see, uh, grass, uh, a, a percentage, uh, a, a bigger percentage of the, of grass cover, uh, it's related with, uh, um, more with deeper soil and thickness, uh, thicker uh, horizons. Um, for the last uh, analyzation we did is about the pH value of uh, the two different uh, uh, substrates we analyzed. And as you can see, there is a big difference between acidic substrate and carbonatic substrate. But one thing that uh, we wanted to see was the difference between uh, the two main horizons, the, the OH horizon and the A horizon. And uh, it seems to not have uh, any difference uh, between the between the horizons. So basically, the pH value between horizons is the same. And in the end, uh, here is um, there is the classification of uh, uh, all the humus systems we found in this research. Um, most of them was a uh, tangle uh, humus, but yeah, we had also amphi and mool on uh, carbonatic substrate and mother and more in uh, uh, acidic substrate. Um, 
and um, yeah this was everything uh hope that i ended in the time limits so thank you for your attention Questions.